Hi folks. In this video, we'll be exploring the relationship and difference between conflict resolution and conflict transformation. So watch this video, do the, the assigned readings at the bottom of the page, and then you should be equipped to fill out question three in your worksheet for the key concepts module. Okay, so conflict resolution may be a more familiar concept, and basically it means to come to some agreement or some decision, which enables the parties involved in a conflict to put it in the past, to say, okay, this is what it was decided, um, now I can make plans going forward. I can stop thinking about the conflict. Ideally. Conflict transformation, by contrast, isn't as interested in coming to a final answer. Conflict transformation is more focused on how do you reshape the patterns of relationship that brought us to this point so that as you continue to try to do life with this person or this institution or this nation state or this group of people and, and disagreements inevitably arise, we have better and better patterns for working through those disagreements. Um, conflict transformation assumes that conflict is a, a perennial uh, force in human life. Now, these aren't mutually exclusive exclusive phenomenon. You could, of course, come to a resolution of a particular dispute to people, like let's say a husband and a wife, or a wife and a wife, a husband and a husband, two people who have committed to each other for a long time. They have, they've had some disagreement about how they do budgeting, and they come to a resolution, and they live into their budget going forward, and this enables them to have more transparent conversations about other tricky topics like how they relate to in-laws or how they parent or um, any number of other topics. Then you would have an instance of conflict resolution leading to conflict transformation insofar as like having this one decision making, this good decision making experience leads to other better decision making experiences. Um, in, in the example in the page below I gave of, of a divorcing couple who come to a res who could come to a resolution about child custody. Um, and that, that might or might not lead to a transformation of their relationship. So it's important as you are approaching a conflict to ask, what am I seeking here? Do I want, do I want to have some decision that I can live with and then stop having to think about what has transpired. So that in the example of uh, a custody case, you know, I know when my kids are going to be at my house, I know when they're not. And therefore that enables me to uh, set my work schedule and figure out my social life and um, make a budget for when I need childcare. I, I primarily want to just make a decision so that I can, you know, move forward. Or is my goal here to reestablish to establish different patterns of operating in this relationship? So when the the next uh, hiccup or when the next challenge comes along, we'll have a different way of of navigating it. And that might require things like um, addressing imbalances in money and power. It might mean that you establish new patterns of communication. It might mean um, any number of things that would transform the relationship itself. And it's important to know which thing you're shooting for. Am I trying to transform this relationship or am I trying to get to a resolution? Because while they are often compatible, often the having a positive resolution will lead to a better relationship. Sometimes there's a trade-off between those two things. So perhaps you are willing to make compromises you don't want in a particular resolution because it will improve your operating working relationship going forward. Or alternatively, sometimes like you can imagine, um, let's say you're in an organization where you feel like you and your colleagues are not sufficiently compensated. And you're pretty sure that if you sat down with your boss, you could get, you could convince your boss to give you a raise. But actually what you want is to change the working conditions in your, in your 
employment so that everybody gets an adequate it gets adequate compensation and you understand that some labor organizing is going to be necessary for that in that case you might decide that a achieving a win in a particular resolving a particular disagreement might actually undermine your goal of transforming the the conflict more broadly so it's important to just know which outcome you're shooting for resolution transformation or both right on to the next video